in this video i'm going to show you how to edit videos in kinemaster just like this one I do let's get started so before you open kind master you you must already have your video being recorded and you also need a phone case that you can just download it from the internet i'll leave a link in the description so that you can go ahead and download it straight forward then you practice along as you watch so just tap on the plus icon over here then choose 16 by 9 that is a resolution for youtube videos so now once you select it you can choose a background for your work and in this case i'll go with any color at all so preferably i'll go with white so i just have to stretch it a bit to demonstrate exactly what i want you to do so having done it like this the next thing is to import the video that i want to edit right away so you have to click on a layer panel then you choose media so the video that i've recorded has been saved over here so I just have to choose it then we go so here is the video I have recorded but because the video is looking kind of white and the background is white you are not seeing it clearly so I would like to change the color of the background so I just have to click on the background which is the white layer selected right here and after that I'll click on this icon and I choose a different color for my background I think this is okay all right so I'll go with this background color now you can see the video clearly all right I've recorded it in a, in a portrait form so that if I bring in the phone frame it can fit perfectly into it and also if you want to record it in a landscape form I'll make a video on that so that you can also go ahead and watch it if you want the landscape one all right so the next thing to do right away is to bring in our phone case so you also have to click on the layer panel then go to media then from media i just have to locate the phone frame in this case it's in my download folder so i'll just have to look for it so here it is in a landscape form i just have to turn it to the portrait form because the video is in portrait and I'll reduce the size a bit then I'll place it on top of the video like that after that I'll go back and select the videos you can see that part of the video is showing outside the phone frame so what we have to do is to crop the video so with the video selected you come to the options over here then the sidebar menu and scroll down and locate what crop and select cropping after selecting cropping this this is what you use to crop okay what i'm moving on the screen that you are seeing right away is what you use to crop so just make sure that you crop it a bit like this then leave it now you can also play with the masking and when you turn on the mask tap on shape then select the rounded rectangle then tap back all right then to leave it like this now if this is not okay for you you can still tap on the video then push it down a bit if you want all right just make sure that it fit perfectly onto exactly what you want it to be for this one i think it's okay and everything is well placed 
so you just have to stretch the full frame all the way to the ending of the video so that it does not leave the video to play alone like this all right so let me just demonstrate something for you to see i'll push the full frame backwards and leave the video like this you can see that it is not kind of nice it is not perfect so you have to bring the phone case all the way to the end of the video all right so that it will look like this as you play it okay yeah. as you play it it will look like this now this is my instagram page you can also go ahead and follow us three at underscore dh now there is something else i would like to show you in case you want to make some kind of styles in your designing you can also go ahead and do this so tap on the background this time around we are going to change the color to green we are changing it to green because we would like to remove the background and use it for a certain design so make sure you stick to the video and watch this to the end now we have this background all right this is the background we are having so what we will do basically right now is to export this video so we click on export icon and for the video to be exported quickly i'll just reduce the resolution a bit and i'll also bring down the resolution to standard now this is what i want you to take note of for you to have a proper video resolution always make sure you put it on either hd or fhd 1080 and for the bit rate you can put it at the middle which is about 7.15 or you can increase it higher but remember the higher it is the higher the megabyte or the size it will consume and the longer it will take to export so for the sake of this tutorial i'll just reduce everything so that we get our video exported quickly so let me do that so as it is exporting we wait for it to finish once it's finished then we go ahead with the editing that we want to do now our video has been exported successfully so we'll go back to the editing menu but this time around we are going to clear everything over here so we just have to tap on whatever you want to delete then tap on delete icon to delete it tap on whatever you want to delete and delete it all right so the background we are also going to change the color of it because we don't actually need this color this time around you can also bring in any design that you want but for this one i think we'll go with this color so this is what we have right here and in case you don't like this you can also go ahead and delete it and go back to media then select background if you want to select any kind of background let's say any of these ones over here you can select them so let me just select this one all right so i assume we are using this background for our tutorial there are a lot to do with this background just to play around them i'll show you in uh subsequent videos so here we have it and what i will be doing is to import the video we just exported so we click on the layer panel then go to media then we locate the video we exported which is kind master export then we tap on it by bringing it into the working area so here is the video with the background green now what we'll do is to remove the green background and we we'll use the chroma key so at the, at the other side of the editing panel scroll down and locate what the chroma key now you just have to enable it then you will see this now for you to make sure that the green parts are gone play with these sliders okay we have one at the top and one at the down play with them until you get a perfect clearing of the green all right so once you get the greens cleared off perfectly then you can go ahead and start your editing now let's assume this is what we want and it's perfect right here 
so you can increase the size a bit all right so i'll just increase it the duration of the video so the video is up to 40 seconds now we'll have to clear some parts of it some parts that are not including the main video so we just have to click on the scissor like icon which is the cut icon then trim it to left then we go back backwards and locate it right here then we tap on trim to right of playhead all right then we have this now what we'll be doing is we'll be making use of the key icon so watch this carefully as i demonstrate and please if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel kindly go ahead and do that so that you keep yourself updated with our videos each and every time we upload so tap on the video and click on the key icon all right now we have plus we have minus and we have forward backwards over here so this is what we'll be doing all right so just tap the plus icon now you can see that the keyframe has been added to our timeline now what we'll be doing is as we move along we'll be adding the keyframe now after we've added this one what we'll do next is we'll just bring this down a bit and turn it in case you want to play with it turn it increase the size a bit turn it like this then you go ahead you can see that it, the key has now turned to the positive over here all right first it was on the negative as i brought it back it came back to the negative now as i move it it will also go back to the positive so once i click on the positive another key frame will be added over here so let's do that once it's been added you can go ahead and do that add another one all right and if you also want to change the position of this video that you've also recorded and edited first you can just go ahead and change the position then add another keyframe all right use the rotation button at the corner over here then rotate your frame if you are satisfied with the rotation then you can just reduce the size if you want so let's assume this is what we want we just have to leave it here then go ahead with our editing so now let's play and see what we have Alright, you can see it. You can see that it has moved down to the side that we place it, and when it is over, it will turn to another side again, like this. This is pretty much cool, right? Alright, so make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so that you get yourself notified anytime we upload a new video. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bless up.